Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the difference between complete and incomplete combustion. Now you should already remember that complete combustion is where any fuel reacts with lots of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. What you now need to know is what is incomplete combustion and how is it different. So if we start off with the main difference, it's not lots of oxygen, it's where we've actually got not enough. And what actually happens instead of forming carbon dioxide and water is we form carbon, carbon monoxide and water. You can also get some carbon dioxide, but the main things that are produced are either carbon and carbon monoxide plus your water. So for example, if we have a look at the incomplete combustion of methane, CH4, you can see here I've got one carbon atom bonded to four hydrogen atoms and I've got two oxygen atoms bonded to each other. Now, whenever you take any combustion reaction, whether it's complete or incomplete, water forms first. So I'm going to get H2O. So if I remove two hydrogens and one oxygen from the left hand side, you will see here, what am I left with? Two hydrogens, one carbon and one oxygen. Now straight away from that, you can see there's not enough to form CO2, there's not enough oxygen. So I can only form two things. I could make carbon and then H2O, or I could make carbon monoxide, CO. Now the question will always state what is produced, and then all you'll have to do is produce a word or balanced equation based on what the question says. So for example, this question here says write the word and chemical equation for the incomplete combustion of ethene to form carbon. The question will also give you that ethene is C2H4. So if we start off with the word equation then, that is nice and simple. We start off with our chemical, which is ethene. Oxygen is nice and simple. And then what do we produce? It tells you in the question, water always forms first, and then we get carbon. The balanced equation isn't that much more difficult. It tells you that ethene is C2H4, so we put that in. Oxygen, think of the phone company, O2. And then water, you should remember, is H2O. And carbon, you just look on your periodic table, there's nothing else with it, so it's C. Then in terms of balancing, you can see that I've got two carbons and four hydrogens on the left, as well as two oxygens. And on the right, I've got two hydrogens, one oxygen, and one carbon. So to balance my equation, I'm going to have a look at my hydrogen. I've got four on the left and only two on the right, so I need to double my H2O. That gives me four hydrogens, and it also doubles my oxygen, so I get two oxygens. That means that my hydrogens are balanced and my oxygens are balanced. All that's left is my carbon. I've got two on the left, one on the right, so I'll put a two in front of my C, and that balances it. And that is everything you need to know about incomplete combustion. So it's time for you guys to have a go. So this question here says, ethane is a gas that is found in natural gas. When a boiler gets blocked, incomplete combustion can occur. Question one, one of the products of incomplete combustion is carbon. What are the other three products that could be produced when incomplete combustion occurs? So think, what did I say always forms first? And what are the other two things that could potentially form? So you need all three to get your three marks. Question two, when ethane combusts incompletely, carbon and water are produced. Write the word and balance chemical equation for this reaction. So they've given you the formula of ethane, C2H6. You know it's combusting incompletely, so what does it react with? It doesn't matter if there's not enough of it, it's still reacting with the oxygen. What's it going to produce? Have a go at writing the word and the symbol equation. So pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a little while. Okay, let's go through question one. So it says one of the products of incomplete combustion is carbon. What are the other three products? So again, you need three things here, and carbon can't be one of them. So if you remember, the thing that I said that always forms first is H2O, water. So that's going to get you your first mark. The thing that is produced in both complete and incomplete combustion is your carbon dioxide, which is your CO2. And that's going to get you your second mark. And then your third one, the one that is unique to incomplete combustion here, is your CO, which is your carbon monoxide. That's going to get you your third mark. Now you can put the symbols or the words down for this. I'd probably go with the words because if you were to get anything wrong with the symbols, you'd lose the mark. So always put the word down unless it tells you to put the symbols in. 
if we move on to question two then, so the first thing it's doing is asking you to write the word equation. So it tells us that we've got ethane and it's combustion. So regardless of the type of combustion, it's always going to react with oxygen. And it tells you what it produces as well. So you've got carbon and you've got water. So just for putting that down, basically being able to write this word equation and remembering combustion involves oxygen, that's going to get you your first mark. The balanced equation is a little bit more complicated. So it tells us we've got C2H6. Hopefully you can remember by now that oxygen, think of the phone company, is O2. Carbon is C. And water is H2O. You'll get one mark for the left hand side, one mark for the right hand side, and all that's left is the balancing. So let's counter what we've got. We've got three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. How many carbons? Two. How many hydrogens? Six. And how many oxygens? Two. And on the right hand side, I've got one carbon, I've got two hydrogens, and I've got one oxygen. So let's have a look at balancing it. Now what we could do is we could have a look at the water. I have two, I need to get to six, so I could times that by three. So if I put a three in front of there, let's have a look. I get myself a six here, that's balanced. But I also times my oxygen by three. I had one times by three is three. Now the issue there, I can't times two by anything, any whole number to get three. So it doesn't work. So let's go back to the drawing board. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at doubling my ethane. The reason for that being I can then times my water by a different number and make my oxygens even. So if I put a 2 in front of here, let's count up. That gives me 4 carbons and 12 hydrogens. Now if I go to my hydrogens and try and make them even, what do I times 2 by to get 12? 6. So I put a 6 in front of my H2O and recount. 6 times 2 is 12. I also times my oxygen by 6. So 1 times 6 is 6. And then I can move on to the rest of it. So what I'm going to do now, let's go to the carbon. I've got 4 on the left hand side and 1 on the right. What do I times 1 by to get 4? 4. So I'll put a 4 in front here. And that's my carbon and my hydrogen balanced. Now all that's left is my oxygen. I've got 2. I need 6. What do I times 2 by to get 6? 3. So I'll put a 3 in front of my O2. That changes my oxygen on the left to a 6 and it becomes balanced and gets me my final fourth mark for this question. And that's all there is to it. That may have seemed a little bit complicated but you'll still get, even if you can't do the balancing, the first three marks in a question like that. Write in the word equation and putting in the symbols for oxygen, carbon, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, as long as you can remember them. So I have got a review question for you, which is propane is a gas that's used in cooking appliances. When a boiler gets blocked, incomplete combustion can occur. Question one, write the word equation for the incomplete combustion of propane to produce carbon and water. That should be nice and easy. Don't forget to put your oxygen in. And question two, when propane combusts incompletely, carbon monoxide and water are produced. So remember, carbon monoxide is CO. Water you should know. Propane, it tells you in the question. Have a go at writing the balanced chemical equation. And that brings this video to an end. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.